mic is on. Hi! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The mic. The hostess doesn't How know where are she's you? at. How are you? I'm, I was looking. Uh, hello, Stefan Aronson. How are you? I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters. Sisters. And this is Silver Shells Bling Quarantine and Shelter in Place Party. And <laughs> Cindy and I have been hanging, <laughs> hanging around and sheltering in place at home. And we're coming to you live every night at 6 o'clock. And we try and do something different every time. We've cooked and we've brought guests on and we've cut up t-shirts and tonight we are going to interview Stefan Aronson hello and uh, so we have a video now Stefan is the co-founder of a balanced breakfast and he is also a graphics designer and a DJ so um, he likes to get dressed up every day most and uh, we are excited to have him on our show and to be talking to him about balanced breakfast and some things he's done in the past and what he's doing now and his future plans. So, okay, here we go. We're going right. to have a little intro clip for Stefan and then we'll be right with him. Okay, everybody. Okay. This is DJ Stefan Aronson on the SF Intercom Show. Yeah. You want to go to a party tonight? It's supposed to be the jam. It's supposed to be really nice. Uh-huh. We'll take a bus or a taxi cab. We can get paid and then go to the club. I said, whoa, whoa. With a glass of red wine, cheap champagne, it tickles down my spine. video to shoot now, now we're live guys. hi we're live yes okay all right so uh that was very interesting what, what gave you the idea to wear those pink pants in that uh, in that clip like one of those important parts about always having like branding and always be thinking about like what what your colors are it's, it's part of what i always tell people when they're thinking about like how they're presenting themselves to think about not only like 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 uh, how their website looks, but like how their appearance looks as well. So bright okay. pink is something I'm very fond of. Excellent. So we need to say hi to Gary and Greg and Angelina. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We have Stefan Aronson, from, a co-founder from the Balanced Breakfast. And yeah. what is Balanced Breakfast? I mean, what... what uh, I know it's a format, an informal format, like where you can video. Uh, Cindy, you explain it. Well, it's it's a meeting format. It's it's a way for musicians and people in the music industry to get together and talk about things that impact them directly, and then yeah. bring problems and then find resolution. Yeah. It, 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 started, it started as just a way for friends to gather and to have a meal together. And then... No, uh, you mean physically, it, it, it right? more than that. Physically? Yeah. Physically? Yeah, so we started, we started with a um, diner in, in the Mission of San Francisco. Okay. And it was just five of us getting together because we wanted to be around each other's presence. We wanted to talk about what we were working on. 
And then we started inviting friends, and the five became ten, and the ten became twenty, and uh, then we were like averaging forty people at breakfast meetings. And someone said, "Hey, can we do breakfast in Oakland?" And uh, and that idea was kind of wild to me. I was like, "Who, who asks for permission to meet for breakfast?" Um, but it's kind of like what you said earlier. It's a format. It's a style. It's a way that we do it. So I just started getting very formal with it in in the behind the scenes. So if I if I have all the like descriptions behind the scenes, then it can look very casual when when you see it in person. When when you actually come to a meeting, you go, "Oh, this is this is pleasant. This is chill. This is relaxed." And it's it's just part of it's part of the ambiance that we try to create. That you're having a meal and you're enjoying each other's company and talking about what you're trying to accomplish with your goals and and what you're doing in the music industry. So goals in the music industry. So you talk to writers, uh, uh, musicians, yeah, uh, managers, probably agents. Yeah, I try to I try to say I got I've been trying to get really good about saying that it's for anybody who's passionate about the music industry, so that that way nobody's like, oh, it's for musicians. Oh, it's for it's right. for uh, people who are at a certain caliber. No, it's for anybody who's passionate about it and wants to talk about it. Okay, so how? Uh, where is Balance Breakfast now? It's it's based online. Is that correct? So when the Corona uh, thing happened, and all of a sudden we're not allowed to meet in groups or gather in public places, it created a panic for me because what we were based on was meeting in cafes. So right. we met in cafes in thirty cities around the. Uh, Mostly in the U.S., but we have also have meetings in uh, Bogota, Colombia, in um, uh, Toronto, in in England. So we have we have little tiny presence outside the U.S., but we do okay. meet in person. So that was a panic when I was like, "Oh no, we can't meet in person anymore." What what does that mean? And so it was like some quick like, "Okay, well, what is there, what is everybody else doing, and how do we respond?" So yeah, now we're now we're online and. Some of the cities choose Zoom. Some of the cities choose Google Hangouts. It's like we're trying to use the technology that works best for gathering people. Like this. Yeah, exactly. Except, how do you have how many people can you get on a format like this? So uh, Google Hangout allows you to have 150 people. We haven't gotten that big yet. We we mm. we were uh, we were 40 people in our last meeting. So um, I don't know what Zoom. I don't know how big Zoom can get, but I'm, my understanding is it can get pretty big as well. Now, what about Meet? Because that's what we used at the last meeting. I'm, I haven't used it yet. I I've thought like, you used it the I've last meeting. I've been checking mark of all of the platforms that I've been using. So the next one I want to check out is Twitch. I want to see what I can accomplish on uh, on that platform. Twitch. Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> There's Twitch and Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. And Oh my gosh! There's so Twitch, Twitch is technically for people who play video games to watch other people who play video games. Right. Uh, the thing is that you can you can tip and you can um, you can encourage the people who are using the platform to do it more. So that's what Zoom doesn't have, and also what Hangout doesn't have is the ability for for your audience to 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 tip you while they're watching. So that's that's why I think we're going to check out that next virtual tip jar. We yeah. were we we're looking for that also for. Uh, the musicians that we have on, that we have come on. and I was hoping to do remote uh, mini concerts, and I'm having a sound problem with the the general platforms meet Skype. Yeah. There's no sound fidelity at all yeah. within those platforms. So that's, the problem, that's the problem I had when I tried to DJ on Facebook Live. Yeah. Two things happened. Um, when I tried to use the, the Wi-Fi in the room, uh, it was was up and down. I couldn't get a solid enough uh, signal, so I had to use it. I had to get a converter so I could have Ethernet on my computer so that I could have like a direct line, and that fixed it a little bit. But then um, I had to get off of Facebook Live and onto uh, Google Hangout because Facebook Live analyzes all of your music to see if it has copyrights. Yes. And so my Live kept getting shut down, even though I'm DJing and trying to put on a performance. I kept getting shut down, so I had to had to choose a different platform. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, that was my question for you earlier today. Yeah, how do you get around playing copyrighted music? They'll well, you don't. No, yeah, they yeah. mute you. They, we found that we out. We don't want to. We they'll mute you or, or take your content down, yeah. and we yeah. don't want that to happen. Yeah. No, so we're real so careful. I tried to go live on on YouTube, and I got shut down in four minutes. 
Um, I went live on Facebook and I got shut down in about 25 minutes. Um, but yeah, they're analyzing all of your streams. So that's why I've been DJing every Friday on Google Hangout because Hangout is a meeting, thus it's not considered like oh. like full on streaming it to the public. It's not recorded, so it's it's live in the moment. So it's worked for me. Oh, okay. So it's like you can have music on in the background. Okay. All yeah. Right. And it won't. But I also had to figure out. I also had to figure out how to send sound from my laptop to the um, to the Hangout group. So that's the reason that you've seen me with two laptops. Is I have one laptop for listening to my DJ set. And I have one laptop for sending the signal, so I'll, I'll log in to hang out twice, so that that way um, I can both send a signal using my laptop as the mm -hmm. um, as the source of the sound, not not like not like the speakers, but actually uh, in in software. Okay. And then the other one for 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 listening as if it was being uh, sent out to the room. Okay. All right. I know Cindy. Cindy's the techie here, so yeah. I know she's probably going, yeah. I yeah. It sounds familiar what you're saying. Yeah, all it these, does. Yeah, trying to figure out how to make it work and how am I going to hear sound on this without feedback? What's going to happen? Yeah, we got we got feedback. We've had some interesting times. Times, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you know, working on getting it all set up. We're excited yeah. about it. So, yeah. uh, so unfortunately, you're in Brooklyn. Unfortunately, yeah. maybe that's no, a fortunately, fortunate thing. No, unfortunately, but sounds you, like there's probably good food it, there. It's two parts. It's unfortunate that the coronavirus happened and messed up all my travel plans and that I only got to go from San Francisco to Portland, Portland to New York, and then everything got wrecked before I could go to South by Southwest and Austin and then to South America to hang out with all my friends in the Balanced Breakfast in, Colum in Bogota, Colombia. Oh. But if I had made it into Colombia, everybody is by law required to shelter in their houses, like by law that the police will arrest you if you're on the street. So it's to my advantage that I got stuck and yeah. I have a friend's couch yeah. that I'm staying on. Um, much as I wanted to get to South America, I don't want to shelter by myself in 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 a foreign country. Right, you know, hotel room, you know. No, not at all. No. I wouldn't want to be either. No. Yeah, so it's, it was unfortunate unsettling. the week of. Like, it was just ripping me apart the week of. And now we're like two and a half, three weeks later, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, Sweet. I see Kalei joined us and Wendy Chambers joined us. I wanted to say hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. We got Sabrina, Angelina Gray, My. Kalei, Wendy. So we have some good people joining us now. If you see the red light on in the upper left-hand corner, we're live. Oh. And if you like our show, and we hope you do, share, uh, the stream. share the stream and look for the notification bell in the right hand corner and click that and receive all notifications and you'll be notified when we're live. Now, and you might learn to cook something really good. And you might also find some jewelry you like at www.silvershells.live. We are, we have jewelry. So I'm wearing some of our jewelry. I'm sorry, this is an ad. In the middle of the show, <laughs> brought like to it, you like by, you know, Silver we, Shells Bling. Pardon. That's right. I'm wearing Labradorite and Blue Topaz set in sterling silver. And I'm wearing a, a gorgeous onyx and crystal heart set in sterling silver on an adjustable chain with my fun little choker. So, anyway, all right, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I'd like to hear from Stefan what got him started on this path, this path to bringing people together all around the world. Yeah. Um, so, I, so, the way I think about it is, is that um, I grew up with uh, music being like something that my grandparents, uh, like, Every time we would visit, they'd play the guitar, they'd play the piano. My, my, um, my grandpa, who I call Farfar, which means father's father in Norwegian, um, he, he, he played mandolin, he played the guitar, he played the piano. And it was, it was amazing and also frustrating that he could just like listen to a song once and then start playing it. And I thought, well, that must be, that must be in my genes. That's, that's something I should be able to do. Yeah. And I, I, I tried to learn the drums and it didn't take. And I tried to learn the clarinet and it didn't work. Um, and my funniest clarinet story is that um, on our first performance, my reed kept squeaking. It squeaked three times. So I did a 30-minute uh, school performance, 
faking that I was playing the clarinet. Like, was, <laughs> but it was <laughs> for, for thirty for thirty minutes in what grade was that? In in third grade? Yeah, the best performance of my life. That's excellent. Um, and I yeah, then took voice lessons, then took guitar lessons, and then took piano lessons and uh, I wasn't meant to be a musician, but um, luckily I discovered that that like that uh, like I could combine my love for music with my uh, desire to cross pollinate circles. So I like bringing people together and saying, "Oh, these people should hang out with these people and cross them over." And um, it's it's what my mom describes as the most stressful birthday party, but to me it's like the most like amazing thing ever. She would say. In high school, I always saw these birthday parties with all these groups that didn't know each other, and to her, it was so stressful. And to me, it was like could be that like somebody makes their new best yeah. friend by suddenly being connected. So that's that's what we do. We try to like help you make your new best friend by hanging out with someone you wouldn't normally get to hang out with. That's what we're doing in our show. So we're trying to connect people, and in personal life, I'm a I'm a. a people connector i like people to you know this person to know that person because i like people to know people and you never yeah. know where you're going to meet your next best friend uh i want to say hi to lotus lisa jeff sandra oh and nate's here oh my gosh hi Is you nate guys lopez here? Yeah, nate nate lopez, yay. do you know nate lopez of the uh, uh, i looked at his picture there's a few people that i know when i look at their pictures and i go oh, i know you and then when when I'm thinking about names, I go, ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something really quick. I see we have a little lag. I'm going to switch scenes for a second, and then we'll be right back. Okay, switch scene. I'm just going to go to the Cindy and Shelly cam like that. Hi, everyone. Here we are. It's us. Here we are. Okay. Now, let's see if this resolves. This is DJ Stefan Aronson on... Sad. Okay. Sorry. Hi everyone, here we are, Hi, Silver Shells are. Bean Party. This is Cindy, and I'm Silver Shells, and this is Silver Shells Bling Quarantine and Shelter in Place Party. And we are coming to you live every night at 6 p.m., and we try and do something different every night. We interview somebody, we cook, we cut up t-shirts, uh, we tell jokes. Because, you know what I say, comedians, I've heard, are funny. That's her joke funny she wrote. wrote. No, That's her joke I, I she even wrote, did Stephen. it wrong. <laughs> I even did it wrong. I heard, never well, She mind. can't even deliver her own joke. This is, I told her, don't quit her day job. No, I haven't. No, I she haven't. hasn't. No. I won't, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, but, you know, we're having fun. We're having a lot That's of fun. a lot of fun. We've, I've been cooking so much more now that I'm in quarantine and like making videos based on my cooking. And for me, it's the most fun ever. But um, my friend TJ, who I'm locked up with, uh, uh, every time I like pan from the food up to him, he's just like, and I was like, <laughs> much fun or cooking. And he's, I, I just want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, uh, he needs to, you know, videos. The videos slow down the process of getting the food to the mouth, but to me, it's like, yeah, like we're capturing it all. Why not? Why not? Uh, this is maybe we're all sheltering in place. It's quarantine. We have technology at our fingertips. And I mean, look yeah. what we're doing. Look what Cindy's doing is, and you're doing. And yeah, I mean, it's amazing. And people are joining us. They like what we're doing, and it's we're having a good time. Yeah, we just need more bling in our lives. That's right. You need more bling. I was. Yeah. I made him change his shirt. And we're passionate, <laughs> like you are, about the music community. And uh, we visit live venues all the time. We yep. go everywhere, and, and uh, especially Redwood Cafe in Katati. We enjoy that a lot. That's our There's thing. a lot of different bands play there. And uh, so there's really great entertainment in Sonoma County. So that's why we're doing this. So yeah. where else do you DJ? Um, let's see. So DJing is kind of a wild thing. I, um, I, got, I got booked to, to DJ a concert when I wasn't really a DJ. I, I had a little <laughs> podcast and a friend asked me like, okay, so um, I got a show and I need a DJ. Will you DJ it? And I was like, oh, um, 
Um, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Um, so, so I, I, I uh, DJed a party, and then I got booked to DJ another party, and then I was like, I actually need to buy some gear if this is going to be a thing. So then I bought a controller and started buying, like, uh, I don't know, the, like, the, the, the time, or, like, so about six months ago, I had to buy a new controller, and I was like, this is real now. Like, uh, like I'm on to my second instrument. Oh, instrument. nice. Uh-huh. Uh, it's like it's it's like yeah now now I have to um, take the title and be like all right you've been DJing for five years now you bought your second instrument you have wires and cords and microphones around the room um, but uh, I've DJed a lot of weddings I decided weddings are fun if you're paid correctly they're horrible if you're not paid correctly yeah uh, let's see DJed a lot of dive bars um, DJed a lot of New Year's Eve parties uh, the, the there are different levels of fun. Like, like the an em- empty uh, dive bar is fun if you have six of the right people in it. Um, yeah. And a New Year's Eve party is amazing if you have like a uh, hundred people that just want to like get turned up and dance a bunch. So, different styles. Different styles. So, you say weddings. Is there music that's requested the most by wedding, or is it all varied? I find that at weddings. People love the songs that tell them what to do. So, like, songs like Cupid Shuffle, where it, like, tells you, like, the dance moves, okay. or uh, really throwback songs like like Macarena, or, like, things where you're just like, oh. that's the cheesiest song ever, and people just get, like, so excited for it. Um, so, it, it's, so, so they want to be, they want an inclusive dance. They want someone where, some, some, a dance where everyone can come up and be part of, and everybody knows it. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. It's, it's a connection song. Yeah. Kind of, you know. So the, the um, yeah, the uh, Uptown Funk gets requested a heck of a lot. Um, you said two of the songs I had in my mind. <laughs> okay. uh, Macarena and Uptown Funk. Yeah, but, but yeah, I try not to be like too cheesy of a DJ. Um, and I do like taking requests, but I do try to um, read the room and know when the right time to play that request is. Yeah. Because definitely, uh, when you, when everybody starts drinking, they all think they're DJs and they all want to tell you what to play next. So um, I have a little piece of paper and I take everybody's requests and then I just play them when the time feels right. Okay. All right. Uh, oh my gosh. So you've been at some good weddings and some bad weddings, huh? So and then you decided to start balance breakfast. Yeah. Well, weddings actually, I think, happened after Balance Breakfast. Oh. I think I did my first wedding, and in, in so Balance Breakfast started in 2013, um, and it, it was a project that happened after a lot of other projects. It didn't probably have a name until maybe 2014, or yeah, I don't think I had a name until the end of 2014. But I had another project before that, and other things that I thought would be like the the entity that would break me into the music industry, and yeah, DJing um, on weddings, yeah, the first wedding, I think I did it for, um, I don't even remember, maybe it was, maybe it was a hundred bucks, or maybe it was less, but you, you discover that, like, you can handle a lot more requests, a lot more stress, a lot more, like, crazy people when, when you're paid correctly. Yeah, so, yeah. So, right. Well, there's some regard that goes along with somebody that's willing to pay you properly. Yeah, you're getting paid for your time, and... And more, and your expertise. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's it's some it's there's a lot of um, patience that's connected to um, being paid correctly. So if you, you get paid more, and your patience goes right up with it, and you're like, yeah, I can handle all of this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just no bring problem. it on. Yeah. Hey, we want to say hi. Sure, huh? We want to say hi to a couple people. Uh, Craig yeah. Thompson. Craig is joined us and Craig is a longtime dancing friend and he he wears spats and he's a dapper renaissance man well not quite but you're a renaissance man aren't you do you think like a, do you a feel jack like of all you trades are? kind yeah. of thing yeah yeah i i i definitely um i i'm getting better and better at trying to say like these are my skills because i definitely feel like i i i i do get classified as a jack of all trades and that can be both a positive thing but so many people ask me like what what do you actually do like what is your like what's your thing and so that's the downside of being a renaissance 
a renaissance man is that like nobody knows what your thing is. Right. So I've been trying to get better at uh, letting people know what my thing is. Well, I like. Will you tell people, anyone watching that wants to join your balanced breakfast, how they can join? How can how can the the musicians that are just joining in be part of this balanced breakfast? Um, yeah. Let me put up a link for the North Bay yeah. balanced breakfast. Okay. All right. And so you have all you have these balanced breakfasts all over the world, but now. Yeah. But now you've gone on the internet, you can bring everybody to one place. Yeah. And, and that's a wonderful thing, too. That's the power of the internet. It's pretty wild. It yeah, is the, wild. The, 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 um, so we, you used to have to travel to the, the city where the meeting was happening. Right. So, right. Um, yeah, so like if I want to leave San Francisco and go to Santa Rosa for the meeting, that's a two and a half, two hour trip. Um, but now well, I can hang out with everybody there just uh, on the internet. So tomorrow morning we're having a balanced breakfast meeting. Uh, that the the event can be found on Facebook pretty easily on under our events tab on our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, but we're we're meeting like two to three times a week. So so tomorrow is um is like a, a all chapters meeting. Friday there's a uh, a Nashville meeting. Um, then later Friday there's a Miami meeting. Um, wow. That, that's new. There, we've never had a meeting in Miami. And then next weekend is a, um, is a New York City meeting. And uh, I think the Santa Rosa one's coming up soon. Oakland is on Saturday. Yeah, there's a few, a few fun ones coming up. Now, do you join each one? Are you the, you're the mediator? Are you the mediator oh, in, in each I one? Have, yeah, I have city leaders. So I, I get to, okay. I get to, um, like sneak in and try to stay undercover, but um, do you dial yeah. in? You dial in, and you're part of, and you're part of each meeting, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been doing pretty good now that it's online. When it's in person, is it's I don't make it to all the meetings, yeah. but now that it's online, I I, I make it to like ninety percent of them. Yeah. And so, do you learn new music? What what do you what do you personally get out of uh, the balanced breakfast. Uh, people to go to shows with. People to go to shows with. Connection. Yeah. Connection. Okay. So, uh, the, 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 I I no longer have the fear that I'll show up to a venue and not know someone. Um, it's 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 exciting to like not have to worry about like oh like should like should I go to the show like I'm I'm gonna be walking around and I'm just gonna be like sitting in the corner. No, like. It's guaranteed that I'll walk in and be like, "Oh, hey, like new friends, like or or like people that are old friends." That there's always someone in there that's been to breakfast, so it's guaranteed that there's gonna be someone to hang out with. So it sounds we have a group in Santa Rosa called the Kids Are All Right, and we're a big Facebook group, and we uh, or we get together at dance venues. At da yeah, so, you know, so like there's about 350 of us, and we do the what same. Kind of dance? That's freestyle. Freestyle dance. We, Just dance venues that we go to. We descend on places. Okay, so like up in up in Santa Rosa, we uh, we go to uh, well. There's a Redwood Cafe in Katati. There's and the Flamingo. The Flamingo, and there's, oh my gosh, they've closed a lot of places. Close to Twin Oaks, Oaks, the Big Easy, the Big Paloma. Easy, Aquas Cafe, Aquas Cafe. Uh, there's the Coyote Sonoma up in Hillsburg, yes. Elephant, Elephant in the, the room. room. There's there's a lot of great venues. So we go to we go to a lot. And uh, on the, our Facebook page, the kids are all right. We put places and events and things that are we're going. Like I'm having I'm going to have an end of quarantine party and a birthday party. And so so uh, you know I'll be inviting a whole bunch of people. And great. and then it's the same no matter where we go. There's somebody we know because of this group, the kids are all right, that we're in, no matter where you go. Right, and these parties usually exceed the 100 people. You I'm know, really they're, they're good-sized parties. I'll, 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 yes, we, we don't know, obviously, when, but it's going to be the best party it will. ever. ever. I've, got, I've got three or four dance moves up my sleeve, so it'll it's, work out just great. And see, what's nice about our group is we're dancers. We love live music, so we, we generally go to only live music, and everybody dances. And it, it's fun when you get a bunch of us together in a room and 
so I totally understand what you mean by connection. When you go somewhere, you want to be with people you know that you know like the same thing, that you have something yeah. in common. And so it sounds like Balanced Breakfast is a very, uh, it's very connective, um, breakfasty thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just it's, saying, you know. it's, it breaks down a lot of walls to like share a meal together and to um, to like to either be caffeinated or be fed or or uh, like sit at a table and there's they, we do it in the morning so there's no alcohol at the table right, so right. it's like your 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 the vibe is very chill and open and and it's it's yeah a good way for fostering friendships and yeah. for for talking about like ways we can hang out in the future and we do and yeah it's not like hanging out you know meeting at 7 30 in the bar at night and everybody drinking and you know it's breakfast and you're you know you're serious and yeah, yeah people that mind. get up for breakfast are serious yeah i think yeah. so I, yeah, I i do they making their future and making future plans and friends and enjoying the moment and Staying present. Yeah, um, a lot of musicians complained to me that I made them get up early in the morning. Um, but then they, after the meeting, they always thank me because they're like, "Hey, now, now I can get my day started. Now I can go do the stuff that I might have still been been in bed right. for." Right. It's very but, motivational. Yeah, they, 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 you're not, you're not. It's not all of a sudden one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, and you're like, "Oh, I should really get something done." It, it's right. like, oh, now it's like at post breakfast and you're like sweet i've got the rest of the day let's right. do something cool it's nice it's nice and uh so he has a couple of uh there was the summit uh the balanced breakfast summit that was this year and yeah. uh things changed hi jane hi. can you tell us about that a little yeah, bit yeah yeah what what the was summit. the summit i have a trailer we could actually look at that trailer real quick okay okay let's do that okay Hey, it's Stefan from Balanced Breakfast, here to tell you what's in my mug. It's black, dark coffee, because I need that adrenaline rush to keep it going so I can plan things for Balanced Breakfast, like the summit on February 22nd. Drink some black, dark, aggressive coffee, and then come join us February 22nd at Piano Fight, yeah, for the summit where we're bringing together like 60, 60 different speakers to tell you about like marketing, social media, like law stuff, business. It's going to be crazy. So join us at Piano Fight February 22nd. Find out what's in the mugs of like, oh, and mugs like head of like 60 professionals and then meet like 200 people that are just there to like meet. So we're going to be like 300 people all together. It's going to be crazy at the summit. Yeah, balance breakfast. Yeah, so. we, we, had, we had about 50 bands that were going to play that. And okay, we're live from... now. Okay, all right. We were just looking at the uh, music summit and talking about the cancellation of the uh, Southwest. Uh, South by Southwest. South by Southwest, yes. Yeah, that hurt. Well, everything hurts, you know, it's, but, but we can take comfort knowing everybody's in the same position. Everybody's yeah, sheltering the, in place. I think the thing that's come out of it is like, it hurt a lot to cancel uh, our showcase at South by Southwest because we had 50 bands booked to play. And it's usually a great place to meet new people and um, suddenly have new friends that, like in all these cities you've never been to. Right, right. Uh, um, yeah, the only, I guess the only thing I can say is the positive thing that's come out of it is um, after I like got out of my spiral of like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, um, and I said, oh, hey, like people are doing these individual online shows, and I said, well, maybe we should try to like uh, capitalize on that and like connect all of the shows into four Sundays. Well, it was going to be one Sunday, and then we've got enough leaders and enough bands to do two Sundays. And then all of a sudden it became three Sundays and then four Sundays. So now we've booked 192 bands over the next, uh, well, like last Sunday and the next three Sundays. So that wouldn't have happened if we had gone to South by Southwest. So that's been pretty wild. Yeah. Um, so that's the uh, Balanced Breakfast Online Music Festival. And um, we did we did 40, 48 bands last Sunday, which is pretty wild. Wow, that is a lot. What were the total number of bands that you were curating? 
Yeah, we were going to, so South by Southwest was going to have 50, but now this will have 192. So that's, that's craziness. That is. Um, that is amazing. So yeah. where do they play? So it, that's another thing I've been figuring out is how to, to curate the musicians so that they can play from their own Facebook right. page, right. but be connected into our Facebook page as well. So right. what we do is they have a set time they have to go on, so they go live on their page. And then on the Balanced Breakfast page, we have a watch party, which is a, a little uh, feature that Facebook has that you can right. bring videos in and, and stream them together. So we're basically pooling two audiences, their audience and our audience. Okay. So their fans watch on their page and our fans watch on our page. And then hopefully when they're done watching, they come into our page and watch the other bands. Exactly. So. Exactly. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Well, it is That's wonderful. Innovative. It is. And Lori's here. She Lori is. Lori Lying and Jane. Jane. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is nice to see everybody. Uh, we're having fun. I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the Bling Sisters. Thank you. You're welcome. And <laughs> this is Silver Shells Bling Quarantine Shelter in Place Party. Station identification. Station identification. Yes, yes. Silver Shells and Bling. And all your bling. I need more bling. Silver Shells Bling Party. It has an online store at www.silvershells.live. And our lovely Cindy is wearing our Labrador eye and our blue Topaz necklace. Sorry, it's twisted. A it's bit. quite lovely. It is quite lovely. Yeah, take my word for it. Yes, it is very lovely. And I'm wearing the onyx and crystal heart set in sterling silver on a sterling silver adjustable chain. So go on over to www.silvershells.live and check out our gorgeous store. We've got all sorts of earrings, necklaces, bracelets, pendants. We have pearls, aventurine, oh my gosh, labradorite, opals, fire opals, Mexican opals. We have lots of jewelry. So, you know, go on over and check it out. And on Sunday, we'll be showing more jewelry. So that's our showing the jewelry day. Yes, yeah, Sunday is our jewelry day. Yeah. Tune in at from 3 to 4.30. Is that what time we're going live 3 to now? 4. Three to four now on Sundays. What during during this this time we're going to go three to four. Three to four, yes. Right, I think right. that's a good good stretch. It is a good stretch. Yeah. Twelve was a little bit early. Uh, so tell us about the summit. Tell us. All right, now we go back because to station we started to talk about that, and then we got talking about South by Southwest instead. All right, now yeah. summit. Well, the, so the summit was. Um, the first one was three years ago, the, and so we've had this, this last, um, uh, let's see, what, what March, uh, yeah, this last, uh, I, it all becomes a blur as to dates. I'm like, okay, what date was that again? Yeah. Anyway, we had, our, we had, we had it this, uh, last month, um, and, uh, um, it is a way to like say, okay, we've been meeting as for breakfast. We've been talking about all these things that you should be doing. Um, how can we put some of this into action, yeah. like take what we talk about at breakfast and actually do it? So the summit was a response to that, to say, okay, well, we have chapters in 30 cities. Could we get all those chapters to come together for one big event? Um, we have people who have learned um, from these breakfast meetings how to do certain tasks, oh. and they've gone out and done those tasks. Could they now be on a panel and tell other people how to do it? So it's supposed to be like a, a tier, like you, you, you started... Yeah, you start at the breakfast meeting, and then you go to the summit, and it's like you're building off of the things you learned. Excellent, so, excellent. Yeah. So we'll do it again next year, uh, and it's uh, um, uh, the, the I'm, I'm, <laughs> my brain is not thinking about summits right now, so I'm like, is it February or is it March? And I'm just like, I, I'm trying to It was I'm February my... 22nd this year, wasn't it? Yeah, that sounds great. It <laughs> sounds great, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So is it a like, chart? I was like trying to say it. And I was like, why isn't it jumping into my brain? It's just like somewhere on the edge right here. So is there a charge for any and or of any of this? Yeah. Um, so we try. So the, the 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 festival we're doing every Sunday is free, but we we always share the the tip information okay. for the artists so that if anybody um, uh, feels led to, they can tip. 
Um, the summit starts at uh, $29, okay. um, so we try to keep it cheap so that, that way um, uh, if, if you're proactive and you jump on it, you can get a very affordable ticket. If you wait till the day of, they're $59, so it's, it's encouraging to, to, to get them in there. Yeah, um, and we'll see what happens as far as like when we're allowed to hang out again, but uh, usually every September we have the, the Balanced Breakfast. With the FEST, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, and we book a whole bunch of bands for a four-day music festival. And, but uh, we usually do it in Amnesia, which closed, so that's a bummer. Uh, we're talking to DNA. We'll see if we can make it happen there. But also, like, when do we get to start going back to clubs? It's hard right, to say. Right, right, and I think it's hard to tell at this coronavirus how it's going to actually change our social inter interaction when all this is done. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, so oh, there'll be some I, lasting effects. I'm yeah, normally, yeah. I would normally be planning and working on that now, but I'm just like, nah. Well, you don't know because the first it was April seventh that we were going to go out. Now it's uh, May third. May, May third, and right, they're right. talking maybe July. So we'll yeah. just have to stay in place. You know, I can't do anything about it, but I can only keep myself safe. Yeah. And, uh, you know, keep just wear gloves and a mask. And I've really limited my going out. I'm staying sheltering in places. That's why Cindy and I come to you guys every night because there's something to do and we're having a good time. And we want to yeah. stay connected with everybody. We want our friends to, you know, if we can't be with them physically, we can be with you virtually. And yeah. My mom's sewing me a, a mask right now for, for the quarantine. I'm hoping it has a little bit of bling on it, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, or maybe a mouth. Is she crocheting it? She's, crocheting no, she's it? sewing this one. Oh, sewing A it. mask, a face mask? Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah, them crochet. Yeah. They crochet, but that yeah. wouldn't work. You could have well. a little mustache on it. <sighs> that, that, sounds like, that sounds too um like too many too many uh, germs will get through it yeah i yeah, yeah. know i know that was i was just terrible things people are doing but I know. <laughs> so carol casey has joined us carol casey carol casey do you know about balanced breakfast i wonder yeah yeah so see this is great us bringing this balanced breakfast talking about it bringing it to people who might not have ever heard of it and might yeah. not know that it's available. Uh, so you, it's it's like a huge group of musicians and people of like mind, and you can just kind of jump into the party, right? And that's what exactly. that, yeah, so just safe, safe environment. Safe environment, yeah, yeah. And that's what we have a safe fun environment. People that like entertainment and dancing, and who like us. <laughs> we we got a lot of friends. We, we we're funny. Oh yeah, trying to oh, yeah, Lori. Yeah, we're trying to keep people sane. Trying yeah, to so keep ourselves sane. That's yeah. that's. Oh, I know. You know. What would we do? First, you take care of yourself, and then by virtue of you being sound of mind, you can take care of others. Yeah, but every day we get up, we get dressed. I put my makeup on, and you know. So, Try not to live in my sweats. Let's talk about Stefan's future. All right, Stefan, your future. Yeah. I wish I had a crystal uh, ball, but I Wait, don't. I was just going to say, I was like, wait, are you going to tell me or do I have to yeah. tell you? Uh, <laughs> um, let me get the tarot cards out. No. Yeah. You can't help uh, me. Either. Yeah. Um, hmm. that's, that's a hard one. That's probably, probably the thing that makes me spin the most and just like, what? what is coming um uh i'm gonna be very vague because i to tell you the truth i i have no idea i um here's what i do know i know that um professionally i'm skilled for doing marketing and design uh um by by nature of the way i'm made i really like bringing people together so um what 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 i hope to continue to do in the future is to leverage uh, uh, all of those skills in in one way or another that helps like grow community by using marketing and design and 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 hopefully the outcome is like a combination of uh, increased uh, social interactions, people hanging out together, yes. but also great to be uh, uh, to to trigger some financial stability through bringing people together and yeah. like 
to, to make that a livelihood. Right. Well, first yeah. you have to take care of yourself. And by virtue of that, it's just, it's so elemental. You know, it's, yeah. it's really important. Easy to forget. Right? Yeah. 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 So, that's been, that was my 2019 goal that has been flowing into 2020 was how to not forget about Stefan. That's right. And, Play, make you number to, one. Easy to do. Though. Hey, life's short. You know, life's short. And, and just go for it, you know. I mean, look at Rudy. He said he's busy. Where does he get the energy? He's always going and doing. He knows he doing. knows life is precious, and he's always doing. So he's always have to be doing enriching something. his life, growing. We're we're doing it. We're well. That's why we're not sitting life. and watching TV because we're we're sheltering in place. That's we don't. I don't think we have a TV. I just have my iPad, so I watch Netflix. I'm watching a hundred humans on Netflix, which is very, very interesting, and Star Trek. Well, I love Star that Trek. show. I've been watching that as well. A hundred humans, isn't that cool? Oh my gosh! I'm really. I hope they win the Nobel Prize or whatever they're going for. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. Uh, last night I started something called Feel Good. Which is pretty fun, kind of indie 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 show about um, relation a relationship and and stand up comedy. That's pretty good on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. And it's called what? Feel good. Feel good. Okay. All right. It's good to watch funny stuff and uplifting, uplifting. and humorous and things that make you go hmm. Uh, this is maybe this is maybe in the middle. It's a little bit dramatic. Dramatic. Oh. But I like one of the cool ones, Russian Doll. Has has anyone seen the Russian Doll? Have you seen that one? Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. That was totally unexpected. You guys watch a lot of TV? Netflix. Netflix. But I don't yeah. TV. It's TV. Well, it's an iPad. Also watched Unorthodox, which is pretty wild because it's set here in Williamsburg, which is basically where I'm sitting, and co covers like the the Jewish culture here and the wow. and 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 how the community is connected is super wild. All right, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of shows on TV on Netflix. A Excellent. lot. Then there's more on HBO it's, and more here and. It's, it's how I it's how I unwind in the evening because it's like I get so many ideas and so much going on. I'm like. I just need to unplug and like turn turn off the processing, and so yeah, it's like it's like yeah, the the sometimes you need that brain dead like stimulation of just staring at a screen. Um, right, right. Shut up. Oh, I play Candy Crush, <laughs> and I got to tell you, during this difficult time, they everybody got free lives. It's free lives. Hey, hey. Yep. Yep, you just go on there and it says, like, during this crisis, we're trying to help you out, giving you free lives. Yeah, it still took me 50 times to pass, you know, one level, even with free lives. Like, yeah. but I did. <laughs> Candy Crush. Candy I don't know. Crush. I can't convince her. I know. It's it's funny. It's funny. But we're we're doing good. Yeah, I, I, uh, I go to bed late, and that's when I re look at my Netflix. So... Okay, well, I think that's enough Netflix talk. All let's, right, all let's right, move on. All right, we're moving on. Let's move on, right. and I think it's time to wrap it up. In okay. conclusion, oh, Stefan, what do you want to leave everybody with? Mm, besides washing their hands and staying healthy. That's right. right. Yeah, let's see. My hands are so dry from washing so many oh, times. Oh, my gosh, my, yes. And scrubbing <laughs> underneath my fingernails, I think that yeah. and they're just hanging by thread now. Exactly. I, 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 I usually have soft computer hands, but right now I have <laughs> just working hands from washing them so much. Um, let's see. I guess I guess my what I would advocate for people is to try something new because uh, everything is new now, and if you're trying to do things the same way that you were doing them before, um, it, it's a missed opportunity. And uh, that um, with all this chaos and everything different and everything changing, it's like the perfect time to not have your same habits that you had before. So. Shift yeah. up the paradigm. That's right. That's right. Learn a new dance step. Learn. Uh, Carol Casey is learning a standard today. Yeah. Yep. 
No, no, that no, was that's Carol Susan Copperman. Susan Copperman. Uh, Susan Copperman. She plays the saxophone, and she's uh, going to learn one new song a day. And that's hey, pretty cool. amazing, especially when you figure if, it, if we're in quarantine for three months. <laughs> Something we never talked about that we're going to talk about real briefly here is your mustache. <laughs> your your mustache. You see I well? see one video that has 129,000 views on it. Yeah. Yeah, oh it is God. about your mustache. <laughs> if anybody wants to know how to uh, curl their handlebar mustache or trim their beard, just... Uh, uh, search for how, yeah, search that how to how to curl your handlebar mustache or, or how to trim your beard and you'll you're bound to see my video. So, I like uh, the glue. I like the glue and the pencil. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, great. Yeah, if you want the trick, if you want the trick, it's all about glue stick. Uh, non toxic, water soluble. It it's great. So why don't you have one now? Could, because uh, if I do, cut of, it off. The best way to answer that question is how do you um, eat a cheeseburger with a mustache? And the answer is you don't. Like, it's, 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 unless you want to have like ketchup, mustard, and cheese in your mustache. It's like forking everything, and that's just really tiring. So you're motivated so, by cheeseburgers. Yeah. So And then also, like, mustaches are really fun to grow. They're not really fun to have. So uh, it's, it's really, really fun to, like, see the, the growth process and start shaping it. And then you have it, and you suddenly discover... This is a heck of a lot of work. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah, that's hard. So. Any, anything like that's worth, you know, takes work. Like having really long nails, or yeah. uh, you know, yeah, mustache. It's really hard to kiss with a curly mustache too. So um, all these problems. It's like I like cheeseburgers, and kissing is pretty cool. So. Um, uh, yeah, it's hard to do that with a mustache. So you have to choose which one you like more. My, yeah, my mustache would be gone. Yeah, mine yeah. was gone. <laughs> my my nephew, he got a mustache uh, to get him tattooed right there. So he yeah. he had like five or six mustaches tattooed on his fingers. Oh, that's so funny. It would be weird. Each one was different, you know. But I guess it's a thing. Well, Stephen, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. You're thank so wonderful you guys. and gracious. It was very fun. Yeah, thank you for joining us, everybody. I hope you learned something and had a good time. Next time I'll have more bling, I promise. All right. Excellent. All right. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll have you on. Thanks, Stefan. Okay. Nice. Bye, Stefan. Nice okay. to meet you eventually. Bye. Bye. Cue the mustache Bye, video. Cue the mustache video. Cue the mustache video. Hey there. Some more mustache advice for you today about how to... Trim your mustache, keep the edges clean, how to just keep it all organized. Some some mustache advice for men. Here you go. All right, I got my assistant here. Ah, okay, what's your name? I'm Justin. And you're going to help me clean, clean up my mustache? Yes. Just the edges, right? Yeah. Okay, here, clip it on. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Just the edges, right? Just just cleaning the edges, right? Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> just the, yeah, just the edges. Oh, yeah, just the edges. <laughs> 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 just the ed just along the edges, right? Yeah. Yep. Can, yep. can I go down? <laughs> Does it look clean? Yeah. Yeah. Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're done. You're fired. Why? I forgot. Uh. Yeah, just a little off the edge. All right. So my advice is, don't have your nephew cut your mustache for you. This has been a nice episode. Thank you. All right, now I gotta clean it up for reals. Hi, hi, this is Justin again. I know how much to think of getting messy, but somehow, Justin, let's say bye together. Okay, wanna say bye together? Mhm. Mm bye. 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 It
push up there. Bye. Bye. Who are you saying bye to? Um, to the video. Bye, friends.